So here we have the Nissan Juke on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat. Should you wish to increase this space even further, and then this tray section can lift and remove to give you even more space again. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter, and on the right-hand side, the speedometer. In the middle at the top, you can see the total miles for this car, which are 3,220. We have the fuel gauge and coolant temperature gauges in that section as well. This car is an automatic, so that P uh, that you see in that central area, uh, that's the highlight that the car is currently in park. Whatever gear you're in, it will show you up there. We back out to the steering wheel. We have stereo and phone controls on the left, cruise control and speed limiter on the right. And then over in the center is the main touchscreen. This is where you will, amongst other things, pair up your phone before you can use it. So you can hit the phone icon and then you hit connect and then follow the instructions from there. When it comes to music, we have DAB, FM and AM radio. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do that via the CD player. There's auxiliary input, USB input, and you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio as well. So loads of ways to listen to your music. This car also has satellite navigation. There's a full video showing how that works, which you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel. And on top of all of that, we have a 360 parking camera in this car. So if I pop it into reverse, you'll see a bird's eye view image of the car and a reversing camera. And it goes a couple of steps beyond that. If you press the camera button, you get a front facing camera at the bird's eye view front facing camera and the front passenger side wheel so with all of those very very easy uh, to park working our way down from that we have the climate control so you can adjust the temperature you can adjust the fan speed you can determine where you'd like the air to be distributed when you're happy with those settings you can turn the air conditioning off in this case or back on again or push this button in and you'll put it on auto the car will now maintain the temperature you've asked for by taking full control of the fan speed for you. You can override that simply by readjusting the fans at any point in time, as, you've, as you can see I've just done there. Now this screen also doubles up as the driver mode screen. So press this button and you'll see that the options have now changed. You can put the car in normal, sport or eco. Whatever mode you put it in, you're affecting the climate control, the steering, the gearbox and the engine for the car. Under that, we have the USB and auxiliary inputs, a 12 volt charging socket, the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox, and all the way back underneath the central armrest, a driver and passenger heated seat, uh, both with two different heat settings each. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.